Hello, users. Welcome back to the Consulting Detective Network. Uh, I am once again joined by Mad Sammy 99 and Umbrella Core 267, and we are here Hello. again with Read Only Memories. Um, I'm looking at my notes. Hold on. Last time, uh, we learned about Hayden, our friend and one of the top researchers at Parallax, the creator of ROMs, uh, has gone missing. We found out because his weird, like, bulbous-headed robot showed up in our house. <laughs> Busted down our door. <laughs> Literally busted down our door. <laughs> and then broke our laptop. Um, we, I think, are either like a freelance reviewer or a, a newspaper reviewer. Um, did we set a name? Or have we heard a name? I, I think we set a name with... Uh, our little friendly robot, but I don't remember what it was now at this point. Oh my god. You can't ask me a memory question. <laughs> I, think, I think it start. Oh my god. We'll Why find am out. I blanking? Yeah. Um, again, I am uh, remote in this case, which means that I'm going to be taking notes. Um, and Sammy and Brad uh, on the other end, it is their feed. And so they are in control. I believe specifically Sammy is having to, to control the mouse. Yes, I will be doing the pointing and the clicking. All right, well, let's see if I screwed anything up and we are gonna switch scenes. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh-oh, my notes. Nope, oh, there are my notes. <laughs> What's up, Bjork? <gasps> Hello. Okay, so, oh yeah. All right, we got help from our cop friend. It. That's right. But she's, gonna deal, she's gonna deal with the uh, the Froyo stand first. Oh, that's right. Right, because randomly, a Rom is coming in at night and beating up Froyo stands and then disappearing back into the woods. And it doesn't have yes. its uh, its outer chassis too. It's like naked for some reason. <laughs> Look, sometimes you just want to be naked. I guess. So. <laughs> okay, water pump. This pump controls the flow of water to the park Rom. Oh, our little guy. It's currently on and pumping strong. Okay. Share an art studio. I don't know if we saw this. this. Oh, it's Turing. Right, their name is Turing. The hell was our name? It's just Sammy? I think so. You make your own name. Okay, I think we talked to her already. She's... Yeah, she got kind of mad. Yeah, all right. She got a little pushy about uh, needing help. All right, smell you later, Lexi. She's, really, she's like all legs. <laughs> she is. Like three fourths of her body. <gasps> uh, what was it? She could box jump, ago, box jump a bungalow. Oh <laughs> Don't know what that means. It was from Letter Kenny. <laughs> Can we? Oh, we can ride. Oh, do it. I don't think we have time to ride. Oh, you're no fun. fun. What? Turing, I know we're on a mystery, bud, but like, come on. Hey, we have time to kill. We need to wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Set personality modifier to kill Joy Captain. <gasps> uh, I want to order from the snack stand. Sure. Why spend credits on great yet yet expensive coffee when there's a park rom giving out free water? Yeah, but what if you want a coffee instead of water? Come on now. Also, I would not you consider can't coffee as anyway, so you might as well. <laughs> yeah, right. <gasps> a tree. She talks to the tree. <laughs> tree. Oh, it. that's right. We had our succulent plant that we have to talk to at home to make sure it grows. <laughs> and we learned that kill Sammy killed too. a succulent plant in reality. <laughs> Also, also true. Also true. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kugla. <gasps> Hi, Kugla. What's up, buddy? You try calling to some birds, but they fly away. Bye-bye, birdie. My alert's not working. Hold on. Okay. Well, I don't think there's much left here. Yeah, let's just go to the map. Where are you going? What? We still need to figure out how to get Detective River's badge before we leave. Oh, that's right. We're going to steal her badge. Oh, my God. Well, that's a terrible idea. Turing. Turing, I don't want to steal her badge. Well, it's not stealing as much as copying. 
that's still. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's like co- stealing adjacent. <laughs> it's stealing adjacent. That's correct, but it's not stealing. Okay. Talk to the. Oh my god, I have to. The Froyo stand wasn't activated by voice. Use the Froyo stand. Can't get Froyo today. The entire stand was destroyed. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, Um, well. Go and do it. I feel like it's something. You just gotta talk to her and distract her. I guess so. Oh, we have. I don't wanna do. No, I think you gotta talk to her because I think. No, but we have to get close enough to scan her badge, don't we? No, we don't. Uh, Turing Hmm. is. Because he's gonna scan the badge. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm nervous. Just talk um, to her then. But I think we already did talking. I'm gonna. The I'm whole gonna point touch. is to distract her. Don't just. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. are you talking about? I can definitely. <laughs> I can definitely push Lexi around a police officer. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just discovered I apparently don't have a bits alert set up. Well, oh. thank you, Kugla. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, Cadence is napping. The humanity oh. of it. <laughs> Oh, the humanity! Oh, the he- oh, but I talked to Lexi, but I got him? Hold uh, on. The pretzel guy. Yes. Steve! He's been after this spot for years. <gasps> Sales permit? Oh, it must have been destroyed. Wait, I'm hitting Lexi, but I'm getting him? I'm so confused. Uh, maybe you're hearing his dissertation to her. Everywhere. The her testimony. Mmm, true. Hello? Huh? The pretzel guy. Wait, what? Excuse me, game? Maybe you gotta go to the robot? Sales permit? What oh. the frick? Okay. Hold on. One of the uh, maybe you just have to look at her so that way you can identify her. Finest ROMs on assignment in the park. Okay, fine. Lexi's badge is still firmly in place in her jacket pocket. And now try talking to her. Do we have to use something on her? Ah, the milk. (laughs) Could you imagine? (laughs) Excuse me, Lexi, can you drink this milk, please? Check this out. Just put your headphones on and just kind of headbutt her pocket. Huh. I didn't think anyone actually bought this brand. Uh, yeah, totally. But we have to. Keep your hands to yourself. Uh, what? Toppings everywhere. The humanity mm. of it. You know what? Maybe. Do Hold we need on. to distract her with free water? Maybe, totally possible. Oh, <gasps> wait, you know what? The pump, the water pump is connected to the little guy. Right. What if we can we fuck with the water pump? Try it. Doing it. Aha. Haha. You deactivated the pump, stopping the water flow. Okay. And now... Take as much free water as you can muster. That's right. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Absolutely! Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool, refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish it. Yeah, what? Some people see the glass half empty. Some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. Drink the water. Do we... Aha, uh-huh. drink your water. Oh. <laughs> Look at the glass. Yeah. Water. A 2064 Golden Gate Park Holiday Souvenir Glass. Refillable at any Alfie refreshment bot. Currently holding some cool, refreshing water. <gasps> Can we offer it... Maybe you're right, Brad Z. No, I don't think it wasn't an offerable item. I don't oh, it wasn't an offerable item? Yeah. Sad day. Uh, yeah, you can just give her milk. <laughs> <laughs> Check.
Check this out. Hey, Froyo guy, I know your day's been bad, but would you like some milk? <laughs> okay, so we I can't give it to drink her. Drink the water and then try and get more water. Mm. And that will cause the machine to break down. Or something. Excuse me. Drink the water. That hit the spot. You drank your water. Yeah. Talk to it again or use it. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Absolutely. Sure thing. I'll refill that right away. Please wait. Oh. Oh, this oh, is no. embarrassing. <gasps> oh. I seem to have run out of cool, refreshing water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. Uh oh, he's malfunctioning. Uh, oh no, he guys. Water levels not okay. Water oh. Levels not okay. Oh god. Not okay. Oh, oh no. God. I'll be right back. Oh god. I can't believe you've done that to the poor oh. robot. <laughs> he is completely unfazed. Psst. Hey, we're just gonna take this. Nobody look. It's fine. Just gonna That's all I needed. Grab that. Fail to convince Lexi in chapter one and find another solution. Oh, Oof. so we could have convinced her. <laughs> I just, I guess I wasn't very convincing. <laughs> well. All right, 1% ending. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so now what? Let me keep that under my head. Hey. What? Huh? I didn't do anything. I was just tying my shoe. What the hell are you doing with my ID? What? No, it it, uh, hey, yeah, I was totally, I was smooth moves, McGee, just picking it up and giving it to you. Oh, excuse me, Detective Rivers. I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that wayward ROM crashed into you, and I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the shuffle. See? Perfect. Huh. Thanks. What hit me? We're going to jail. Wrong? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. Uh, perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's cart. Mm. It headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads on this jackpot of a case. Hey you, Froyo guy. Tag along with me in case I need you to identify the bot. Who, me? But I've got to <laughs> attend my stand. But your stand is smashed. What are you selling? Cut the crap. It's not oh. going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. <gasps> You're so right, Yinwa. Turing cosplay when? That's <laughs> so true. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Yinwa. How you doing? And you too. Don't think I don't know you're up to something. Keep your noses clean. What? We totally kept our noses clean. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, mm. As I was saying, let me keep it under my hat for now. I am more than just a walking search engine, you know. <laughs> Dramatics aside, we should return to Hayden's apartment. Okay. Now that we've definitely ruined our friendship. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. Totally. <laughs> okay. Go. Um. Fault citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neil S. F. Police oh, Department. Oh, we're gonna get her as part in of so ongoing much trouble. We're going to prison. What? <laughs> I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. This is Detective Lexi Rivers, badge number 881126. I will be entering the crime scene with my assistant to gather evidence. Oh, we so are. Please, well, that, that is a friend you will no longer have. Oh, man. Yes, Detective Rivers, good luck with your investigation. Oh, man. Are you impressed yet? Have I proven my usefulness? Turing! No. 
Turi, you break into my house, my apartment, okay? You impersonate a police officer. Turi... <laughs> He even messed with the feng shui of the room. He removed the paper from the floor. He really did. He really did. Um, you made your point, Turing. Yes, I did. At times, I feel my inexperience may be holding us back, but I will continue to do my best to assist you. Okay. I just wish Hayden had given me more practical training to deal with this kind of situation. Or even just being out and about in general. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. That's okay. How did that work with just Lexi's voice anyway? Can't that police bot see us? That's what I was well, going to ask. I'm not sure I'd call that seeing. The Neo SF Police Department uses a government rebuild of the old Robodyne 6300 Mark B. They're antiquated enough that I'm surprised they aren't in a museum. Huh. Their optics Rude. are a paltry 10 megapixels, and it was child's play for me to modulate my forward display into a tight beam of an image aimed directly into its lenses. I also transmitted the credentials we got from Detective Rivers' badge earlier. We probably should not be teaching the robot to break all of the laws. Yeah. Probably not the thing it should be learning. Frankly, I'm rather embarrassed for the ROM. How embarrassing. The poor thing is older than your computer. Excuse me, don't you talk shit about Lappy, okay? But enough of that. Let's get the data cache and return to Tomcat. Okay. Oh, the random. Oh. Right. Oh. oh. What the fuck? Um. I guess the robot didn't do a very good job. No, 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 no. Our apartment. My home. Who could have done this? Why? What? Oh, it's a human revolution. Wait. Jeez, those tags look like the human revolution graffiti. What does the human revolution want with Hayden? I think this is a ploy. Yeah, it's probably like a setup just to cover the yep. tracks. I, I don't know what to do. This place, these items. They're all I have of Hayden. Oh. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. It's okay, Turin. We'll they figure it stole out. All of his electronics. Even they his old sure video did. Game systems. Even the systems, too. Don't worry, Turin. We'll find him. You're... You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. It's okay. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. Okay. Humanity... <laughs> Excuse me. Humanity has changed rapidly in the last century. Hybridization of the human genome and cybernetic augmentation has, in the human revolution's viewpoint, diluted the purity and strength of the species. Torn up the they plant. even no, tore up the, the plant?! plant? Man. Someone took the time to methodically shred the poor plant. What the? What? The fuck, man. Broken window. The view is marred by graffiti and splintered glass. Tech scum. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. All right. Uh, busted, busted TV. TV. A ROM piece has been embedded in the high res screen. Uh, the desk. Hmm. Yes. 
The desk has been ransacked and tagged with spray paint. I think the data cache is gone. Oh no! We've searched everywhere, and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. Okay. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. Hmm. Middle one. Yeah, maybe somebody is framing the human re human revolution. Oh, yeah. That's a distinct possibility. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The Heard. On the mesh net is they make the easiest scapegoat. Also true. Okay, I think I finally fixed my shit while this was all going on. What? Uh, we're about to find out. I'm gonna see if I can get Kugula his proper kudos, kudos from Cadence. Yeah. It's received. Uh -oh. oh, what? What? Um, what? Um, what? 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 Um. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll we'll save. We haven't saved yet. Did we explode? Oh my god! Oh. Oh, I can't believe it, you blew it! Oh, uh, okay! That sounds so much like Ace Attorney music. A little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try this again real quick so that I don't make anything blow up, but I can hear that the audio is working. What? <laughs> Bits received. Okay. Alright. You can't hear it. Chat can hear it, and I can hear it. Okay. Turing, what the flip, dude? I spent the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. Oh! Oh man, is he dead? Jeez! Did the cop find out and come out and knock the shit out of us? And that you appear to be okay. <laughs> nah, something weird happened, I think. We should have drank that milk. Uh, my, what happened? Are you okay? It looked like you had a bit of a glitch or something. Yeah, what happened? Someone ambushed us at the apartment. Oh. Oh. When collapsed, my power systems were jammed by whoever attacked oh. us. Oh. It took me two minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. Oh, were we tased? He's mm. so he's so very proud of himself. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the NSFPD ROM that was standing. Oh. Close. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those, even temporarily. Mm. Serious military hardware like that is difficult to obtain, but that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. I did say military. Likely you a did. spec oh. oh, Jesus. And why would they just attack us and leave? If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. Okay. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. Jesus. Well, I mean, if they were after you, you were right there. Mm-hmm. Who do you think did this? I, I don't know. My original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Trashing <laughs> our apartment may have been a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. Okay. Hmm.
Maybe they want you to lead them to the rest of Hayden's research? A reasonable deduction. But if they don't yet have Hayden's research, we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens. Did you see who hit us? No, I didn't. They assaulted us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. It, ah, I was just to say, like, Turing, you don't actually have eyes. Your entire head is a camera slash projection. <laughs> How did you not see what happened behind you? They either had I at least have an excuse. I could only see forward. Extraordinarily yeah. careful while making their way into the apartment. Oh, they were cloaked. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. Okay. Oh, uh, before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. <laughs> Turing, would you like some spoiled milk? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Our <laughs> top friend is going to be so mad. Lose this again. Yes. Uh-huh. Because she's going to be very confused why we woke up in Hayden's apartment unconscious. Uh, and get it got in with her badge. And, yeah. What do you mean? That's that that's not here nor there. <laughs> I noticed the article oh, on your computer before. Good job getting published. Thanks, Turing. Oh, and here's your spoiled milk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game. Good on you for that. <laughs> I mean, I have a cause for concern, but that's a separate conversation. glass of water that you got from Alfie. Looks like it got broken. Oh. Oh no. Oh. is this broken commemorative glass. Okay. Well, we could shank somebody. <laughs> that's gonna be a very weird shank. Uh, I mean, any broken glass can be razor sharp. Absolutely not. We're keeping it. But well, apparently, uh, maybe not. we should just wait. Can you hit leave? Ah, oh, it's locked you out. Maybe we should just throw the glass away. <laughs> but we're allowed to keep the milk. <laughs> Man, no. Just let me know when you want to leave. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hayden Weber. Who in the... I see you like to play Castlevania. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> what? Huh? Alright, just leave. <laughs> oh? What the fuck? Hello? Seems he's your roommate. Yeah. I... Seems he's a Pokemon gym tr Sorry leader. Being a nosy <laughs> Look at that face. Mine and this sounded all too familiar. You could be a nosy Nancy. You got any Anything info? Happened to him? Just don't be a Karen. Who are you? Of course, I've not yet introduced myself. I'm Satan. My name what? is Dr. <laughs> Young, I'm the founder and former CEO of System One Software, now owned by Parallax. Oh? Okay. He is telling the truth, at least as far as I can intuit from information on the MeshNet. Thank you, Turing. And I do recall Hayden mentioning a Dr. Fairlight, at least once in passing at some point. See, I don't buy it. Were you happen to be listening in yeah. on our conversation? No. Good, sir. I hate to be the one to tell you, but privacy screens are hardly soundproof. Okay, but... <sighs> It's not the point. However, if this situation concerns us both, uh, perhaps we can help each other. Oh? I won't press you for details, but perhaps I could be of some assistance, hmm? I remember my association with Hayden fondly, 
and I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Mm. We're all in agreement. Mm. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? What do I want? Hmm. It would be nice to be young again. Play the darling of the company. Court prince and pauper alike. Huh? But right now, someone I grew very fond of is in great danger. I simply <sighs> wish to see Hayden home again, safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you Sorry, I, I don't immediately trust the C-suite class. It's not in my programming. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You said former CEO? Ah, uh, yes. As I've mentioned, Parallax acquired my company, System One Software. I accepted a CTO position and additionally served on Parallax's board for several years. So, like, did he steal the someone's... The directors and I had a difference of opinion about the direction the organization should take. What were you saying, Silver? Did he steal someone's super futuristic wheelchair? Is he wheelchair bound? Or is that just the way that the chairs look like in this hospital for some reason? I feel I like- I was wondering the same thing. I feel like maybe he's one with the chair because he's so old, perhaps? Yeah, but he's sitting there cross-legged. <laughs> he's a dapper fellow. <laughs> I, don't, oh. I don't know. I mean, look, it's fine. Maybe we'll find must out. Be some kind of, must be some kind of medical wrong. Ooh. That's all I can guess. The non-centralized data scheme for most ROMs used today seemed ludicrous at the time. We were playing with fire. Dangerous, morally ambiguous fire. And well, we hadn't invented a bucket of water. <laughs> I get it. So when Parallax's servers were destroyed by hobbyist hackers, well... Needless to say, it was a PR nightmare. Everything halted until we could get the damage fixed. And since the security work that goes into maintaining the integrity of near impenetrable mesh net is astronomically expensive, we had our share of disagreements. In the end, I was voted off the board and they went on without me. Do okay. I have hard feelings? Of course. Who wouldn't? Mm. Hard feelings, eh, Fairlight? Interesting. I'm stroking my beard. Interesting. Today Very we learned Sammy had a beard. <laughs> In the end, though, it really doesn't matter. I'm an old rich man with enough hobbies to last the next two decades. Ooh, his voice is very familiar. Hmm. Keep going. How did you meet Hayden? Hayden and I made our acquaintance when the two companies first underwent the merger. At the time, he was a young hotshot researcher working in the search. Ah, uh, it's Adam Harrington. Okay. Oh. He was assigned to find the best ways to integrate Parallax's own collection and analysis tools into System One's LIPS operating system. He was a bit much to handle at times, honestly, but I admired his passion for the subject. So, Fairlight, do you know anything about Hayden's research? His research? No, not so much. I remember at the time he had interest in advanced machine sapience. That the voice of Sindri from God of War. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh! And the motion capture. He once showed me a prototype of his. She was quite clever, very convincing. But you could tell she did not contain the spark of life. I assume that you are another of his creations. 
yes, I am. I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Turing. Um, did you say she? Ah, yes. She was quite insistent on that fact over the course of my conversation with her. Hayden said that she had picked out the color for her casing herself. Pastel pink. No. Still, I must assume you are far more advanced than she, if you're spearheading the search for your creator. Perhaps I should have had more faith in Aiden's little hobby. Do you know what became of her, or where she might be now? Aiden has told me so little of his past research. I'm sorry, Turing. It was a long time ago. And I'm afraid my memory is not what it used to be. I'm going to call it now. We or she. Oh. We'll see. Okay. Okay. I was actually going to say that I think maybe the, the raw from the forest might be mentioned of your, uh, Totally possible. Could be. Ripped off that bright, ripped off the pink uh, casing. That's very possible. Ask you about something else. Of course, ask away. <sighs> what are you doing here? The chair you find. I'm dying. It's an advanced oh. diagnostic. Hey, thank you hey. for the answer. It is one of my hobbies, so to speak. It monitors my vitals and administers medications as necessary to keep my body stable. How? I likely would have perished long is, the, is there something <laughs> that we can't see connected to you? You're just sitting in the chair. <laughs> Unsure. It requires frequent maintenance, and I'm here to have it examined. There's a particular fellow at this hospital who is the only one I trust to run the correct diagnostics and fine-tune things to my exact needs. It's the same way you might get your car serviced, making sure everything's in check. It's too integral to my health to count on just luck. Unfortunately, uh, many critically injured patients were rushed into surgery all at once. My appointment has been pushed back. The hospital administrators placed me here with a resting patient so as not to be disturbed by the chaos outside. Hmm. Interesting. They expected you to awaken quite as quickly as you did. So, how can you help? Ah, I can think of a few ways. I still have some contacts in Parallax and can put out some quiet feelers. Maybe they'll know something. Okay. That's something. I admit, I don't have much to offer until there's more information. Uh, 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 well, we'll see, Fairlight. You just roll up in here like you do. I don't know if we're, you know... He was rolled in here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, placed here. <laughs> and, uh, I... I don't know if I want to give you more details at the moment. Is there anything you can tell me? I'd like to help in any way I can. Ask if you'd like some milk. <laughs> what did you find in the apartment? Uh, uh, I mean, we went, oh. No! Turing, uh, mm. What? Turing! Well, oh, okay. Anyway. The place had been pillaged. Turing! Slogans all over our walls. Well, well, guys. Uh, that cat's out of the bag now. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to prison. Also, all of his gaming consoles were gone. Yes. Our trail with each passing second. We're still frustratingly in the dark and running out of time. Turin, there's something known as omitting sometimes. Slipping out of reach. I am failing him. I'm very sorry to hear that. I wish I could do more. 
Hayden's company was most enjoyable. It's been very interesting speaking to you, Dr. Fairlight. Well, it didn't go well for you last time. How are you feeling now? <laughs> I mean, I guess it went fine, but we may have made an enemy of a friend. So we don't listen to the robot. Mm. I don't know. Because he's... He does have ties to Parallax. Uh-huh. He has former ties to Parallax. For, yeah, former ties. So he doesn't exactly have any problem with anything wrong happening to Parallax, but I don't... He doesn't sound like he's got a grudge with... with Hayden, obviously. No. But he is a suit. Yes. Uh, I mean... So it's your choice. But, you could just treat him as sus rather than yes or no. Mm. Are you sure, Turin? Are you sure you want to ask him? We have any choice. Oh god. Well That makes me want to say no. <laughs> Turin made a choice for us. If I'm looking into this on my own, you might as well benefit from it. We both want the same thing, yes. Uh, it's up mm. to us to seize opportunity. It's gonna be it's gonna turn out like he's the most trustworthy trustworthy guy in the game or something. <laughs> I know, right? I think I have a lead for you two that will prove most useful. Okay. Why did they pick why did they pick the most trustworthy guy to have probably the best evil laugh? Spray painted on the wall. You can't tell me that it won't be it won't be a perfect evil laugh. <laughs> you're you're I feel like you're not wrong. I am acquaintances with the man leading the current human revolution protests at the Genus Clinic. What? Oh, he must is he must, is he helping out with this? Ha what? Okay. Is okay, Fairlight. Mulberry. Okay, Fairlight. After an introduction hmm. from me, he may be willing to shine some light on that particular event. Okay, Fairlight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm sticking. Okay. Okay. <sighs> uh, how do you know this, uh, Brian Mulberry? Ah, well, when I exited Paris. I sought out like-minded individuals. We worked together to prevent a full deployment of the MeshNet system. Brian Mulberry was one such person. We did not succeed in our efforts, obviously. Come to think of it, that event might have been what prompted Brian to take a more radical stance against technology. Ah. But, yes, our motivations aligned for one brief time, and I gained his respect from it. Hopefully, that can be useful for you. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Is he involved with the... I feel like he isn't involved. He just happens to know the leader. Also true. Thank you for helping us out like this. I will send a message downstairs to my assistant, Leon Decker. Oh? He will hand you one of my cards to prove your association with me to Mr. Mulberry. Okay. Make sure you speak to him before you leave. In the okay. meantime, I'll get in touch with some other individuals I know and try to find out any other information about Hayden that I might be able to pass on to you. Okay, Fairlight. I'll be in contact. It was a pleasure meeting you both. Should we ask him about the human revolution? Because I feel like... I'm torn. I mean, I don't think he's involved, but he'll probably just say, oh, goodness, no. Okay, you know what? I don't think he's going to get upset by it. You're involved with the human revolution? No, no, not in this life. Even if I so mm. desire, I don't think they would approve much of my work. While Mr. Mulberry and I were associated with each other once, uh, 
was before he joined the human revolution. Okay. I find their methodology too aggressive and their stated goals dangerously backwards. While I pushed for careful deployment of technology after the Parallax System 1 merger, I am no caveman. After all, I'd likely be dead without the advanced technology that goes into this chair. Okay. Well, we should get going, Turing. Come on. Ah, of course. Please, do not let me delay you any further. Good luck, Turing. I don't think Hayden's faith in you was misplaced. You are an impressive piece of technology. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. We'll be in touch. Make sure to save. Should I call the <laughs> chairs to have you discharged? Ah, we are named Sammy. Okay. Yeah, we got to make our own name. I just couldn't remember what we made. I ah, can't, yeah, yeah. I can't hit menu yet, so I'm gonna say yes. Let's go. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, and there it is. We're going to prison. <laughs> But the guy in the background says it's okay. The exact same shit you were years ago, but this time it's truly unreal. What are you talking? You realize how bad impersonating a police officer is? No, what? It's a felony, jackass. We're going to jail. Woo! I'm no. be slapping cuffs on you and dragging your sorry ass off right now. What? what? Detective Rivers, wait. I'm sorry. The plan to lift your credentials and use them to access Hayden's apartment was entirely mine. Also, I feel it necessary to mention that though you are understandably upset, such language and imagery is beneath you as a respected uh -oh. officer. Turing, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> From one synthetic being to another, week. shut your trap. <laughs> Don't even try to take all the blame. I know that a certain someone lent you a helping hand. What? Uh, yeah! It isn't like you have the hardware to pull that off alone, little bot. Well, to be honest... I do. Detective Rivers, I think I'll tell you the whole truth, since my friend here trusts you. Keep it under your hat, though, metaphorically. That's her, that's her hair. Be polite. Designed to be the first fully sapient machine. I'm glad that we're doing this in the, in the middle lobby. of a lobby. Oh, right. Factor behind Hayden's disappearance. This is a secret. Beyond no one else listen. <laughs> hey guys. Everybody, put your hands over your ears, please. <laughs> Everybody, earmuffs. <laughs> Well, that is a damn bigger problem than you first let on, huh, old pal? First machine sapient. People are gonna have things to say about that. Especially the human revolution. Ugh. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. You sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink. Whew, felony what avoided. To do with the two or now. <laughs> I'm letting you off the hook. Yay! <gasps> yeah, thank you! But the next time she won't. This time, and only because this time I can let you get away with it safely. I doubt anyone will notice your manipulation of that NSFPD ROM, nor that I was apparently in two places at once. But mostly because I think you're right. Someone he blushed. Until you lose your job. Is trying to mm -hmm. delay any search into Hayden's disappearance. Here's a story. Apparently, the investigations you ran into this morning were about the lock on the apartment door being reported broken by a neighbor. Okay. The building couldn't reach Hayden, so they went ahead and got it fixed on their own, but the NSFPD sent a bot to check things out and guard the place for a while afterward, right? Standard procedure, treating it as a break-in. Have someone there for when Hayden shows up. Obviously, you and I know there's a bigger story. But when I filled out the missing person report, I was informed in no uncertain terms that I am to wait an entire 48 hours before I can upgrade the existing case. 
Why? Just on the off chance the door being busted and Hayden being missing are unrelated and my search screws something up for the completion of the break-in report. As if. There's a problem if you're so by the book you're getting paper cuts. And that was before all of this happened. The Chief's not happy about whoever took the bot out. That's who they're after now. They won't even care if Hayden never shows. Today's oh. assault and the vandalization of our apartment will only make the entire situation more confusing and sensitive for the police. Oh, jeez. There's too many right, because we only distracted the bot. Together. Someone out actually fun, destroyed it. Yeah. Oh, God. Happened over another. These little incidents of smashing shit and spray paint sound more like Froyo Stand 2.0 to them than a serious abduction. It's a good cover. And I suppose mm -hmm. I won't be very useful as a witness to the kidnapping without explaining the makeup of my being to the entire department, which will only scandalize things further. Darn it all. Look, it's not being squashed completely, so I don't think anyone's been bought. But until there's undeniable proof Hayden was taken by force, they're going to care more about the poor doorknob and some paint on the walls than him being missing. Which means somebody definitely has some influence, enough to buy themselves time by forcing me to follow protocol to a T. Not that I will, but I'm going to have to keep things quiet. It sounds like it's going to be up to us. Yeah, so stop messing around. There's mm. certainly a story here, but if you keep botching your moves, you'll blow it. What? Well, I didn't botch anything. You're what? What? It. What are you uh, talking about? You got caught. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We've botched a few things. You know, I'm curious. I wonder what would have happened if we checked out the locked door at the far end of the hallway first. Happen at this point. I've got a bad feeling people are going to end up dead over this. I don't want you to be one of them, buddy. And I really don't want to be the one making that call to your sister. Please. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lexi. I'll be careful. I promise. Yeah, yeah. I know. Just here. <gasps> Aha! We have obtained a gun. Take this. Use it if you have to. Um... I'm just going to say, unless the laws have changed pretty dramatically in, uh, like, 20, 30 years, uh, 40 years, excuse me, n normally you don't issue an unlicensed citizen your personal firearm. But I'm just going to, just going to say, like, if, if we accidentally fire that off and it hurts somebody, it's going to go right back to her... Look, if Leon did it in 1998, I think Lexi can do it now. Leon was not a cop. <laughs> no, it was his first day. <laughs> you know what? Thanks. I hope I won't need it. Also, uh, uh, oh my God, why can't I remember her name? Lexi? No, no. Leon's counterpart in Resident Evil 2. Claire? Claire is, is licensed. Her brother got made her get a freaking firearm yes. license. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in touch if I find anything out, but don't hold your breath. My superiors are going to keep leaning on me to do nothing. Okay. Back to the grind, I guess. See you. Stay safe. Thank you for your time, Detective Rivers. You should talk to the receptionist and formally check out before we go anywhere. Hey! No, we need to talk to somebody else first. Yeah, we got to talk to the... Decker? Yes. Yes. We should also look for writing that name down. Mr. Decker, he should be somewhere around. I can All only right. assume it is the only dude standing around. Yes. Okay. We saved. A cleaning rom. Oh my god. A cute little cleaning rom scrubbing the floors. He looks like he's shuffling his feet. A little bit. This rom isn't made for conversation. It just warbles at you. Well, okay, warble okay. back at it then. Warble, warble, warble. 
Here's the clean. You pat the tiny ROM on the head? It bleeps cheerfully. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> Hassy vending machine. Look, they have a hat. Oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing! Well. I love that so much. Well, can you get something out of it? Yes. If you want a hassy, you have to pay using the lips pay linked to your ID card. We already Do can't we make want rent anyway. Want to go more in debt? Absolutely. <laughs> go big or go home. Wait, no, no, no. You have to go. No, no free, free hassy for you. Not even hassle free hassy. <laughs> God damn amazing. It. No, you have to use your backpack. Yeah, and then do the ID. There you go. You pick a super large hassy and drink it. You feel fully recovered. Excuse me? Isn't Hassie the best? Uh, yes. Question mark. Oh no. He's already he's already had advertisements filled in. You're reminded of your much less healthy plant at home. Alright, oh. before we go anywhere else, we need Mysterious to go talk. Mysterious man! Hold on, let's mm. sitting around and waiting at a hospital is no one's favorite pastime. Let's I'd say, uh, like, missing one word and then it's me. No. <laughs> a young man stands alone in a casual pose. Dude, just gonna grab hey. him. Hello? <laughs> just <laughs> grab this man. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, hey, Hello. neighbor. Fairlight messaged ahead that I needed to pass one of his cards on to you. Here. Thanks, dude. Heard up. Thanks for taking your time with me. He really gets in one of his moods when the chairs are getting fixed. The last gala he organized was full of unsavory types. He's probably mm. happy to help folks whose pockets aren't deeper than their thoughts. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, boss said you'd have a few for me. I'm not really supposed to answer anything too private, but <laughs> take your best shot. do you do for Dr. Fairlight? Oh, uh, mostly gopher work, to be honest. Started when I was just out of the military. I was looking for a gig from someone who wouldn't care that I was an army rat. North Korea made that hard. Oh, jeez. The old man pays me to guard his life, run a few hmm. errands for him, and play substitute arm candy at most of the charity galas. Not terribly exciting, but I've already had enough excitement to last me another 30 years. Why do you think Fairlight is helping us? You think sitting in that chair all day is very entertaining? You know, the old man's talked to me about the things he used to do in his glory days. I'm sure he told you about when he was the head of some big companies. He was cold, ambitious, and took down anyone with half a mind to get in his way. I think once he aged, he realized how lonely that kind of life can be. Helping people is the only way he can feel like he's still doing something. But hey, what do I know? I just spend all my time with him. So, uh, what's your story? Probably not as exciting as you hope. I grew up in Montana on a family farm. I didn't have my pa's farm hands, so I joined the military as soon as I could, like my grandpaps. Came home looking to do something a whole lot quieter for the rest of my life. I didn't know at the time how boring quiet could be. <laughs> what? But hey, I'll take it over getting shot at. I, yeah. You know what? Thanks, Leon. No problem. I'll be around if you know where to look. You have a good day now. Hmm. Off he goes. All right. Well then. The sign here says Chinese hospital. Bear in mind that we're still in EOSF. Hello? Patient. My records indicate that you have been admitted for possible cranial trauma. Mm-hmm. 
You should currently be in your assigned bed resting. While I am truly delighted to see that you have regained consciousness, I must insist that you return to your room to be examined by a medical professional immediately. Um, I, I say, well, okay, your choice, but definitely would not choose the third one. What? <laughs> I actually, I feel like the first one, but that's me. Yeah. Go for it. No, no need. Accidentally zap myself with my own stunner. An accidental discharge of a weapon is a serious event. I must insist that you remain for treatment. No. Even lethal stunners can leave much lasting neurological damage. I insist. I insist. Very well. I am prohibited by law from detaining you here against your will, patient. <laughs> <laughs> you should note in your release paperwork that willful early termination of medical services releases this hospital and its parent company, ZHC, from legal liability should your condition persist or worsen outside of our care. Additionally, all test and medical data from your visit will be shared with our standard partners. To help you <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I am further required to inform you that this visit has expended the last of your year's governmentally mandated health care credits. Oh, oh. God. Uh, 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 what was that middle part? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Lastly, you will be required to provide payment or proof of private insurance for any further visits for routine or emergency medical care. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Please take care to fill out all forms thoroughly and accurately. And do have a nice day. Your medical billing makes me glad I'm synthetic. <laughs> me too. You should look for more paying journalism work before you get shot again. What? <laughs> Thanks, Terry. I mean, we would if you hadn't well, broke the laptop. Why not yeah. Why not back home first, yes? I'm sure you'd like the chance to shower at least. I'd like a chance to talk to my Such plant. A clean place. It sure seems to have left you feeling foul. The feng shui is just off, man. Physically, mentally, and journalistically refreshed. Well. You look good. If you're feeling up for it, we should go find Tomcat and tell them about what happened. They should still be waiting for us at Stardust. Let's not keep them waiting. Yeah, let's go find Yuya. Oh, by the way, <laughs> while you were showering, I was able to replant your Crassula Ovada. Okay. Don't forget to talk to it and give it some love. When I try talking to it, it doesn't even notice I'm there. Oh. Either way, our next move is Stardust. Hey, little Wilty! Nice leaves! Every bit will help in the end! Is well. our sink still clogged? Yeah, ask the sink if it still wants to unclog itself. Oh no. Did it <laughs> just try to talk back? How many times is a repair request made? Four, five. The landlord only cares if the rent is laid. You'll get your rent once you fix this door. <laughs> oh, oof. Oh, God. Turing, we don't have a laptop now. Yeah, it turned into a freaking virtual boy for a second there. All right. Well, uh, I will be right back. You keep going. Oh, okay. Let's go to Stardust. Yeah, yeah, it's our ship to run now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful Coming evening. In? <gasps> yeah. Why can we give you a hug? <laughs> <laughs> hug the bouncer. I don't think touching him will get us anywhere. What? <laughs> But it will bring us closer. But give him the stutter. I already saw it. <laughs> You're good. Okay, okay. I didn't know if you need to card me every show time, him, dude. Show him the milk. Welcome. 
the stardust. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Majid, hi! Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? Guess you gotta drink again. Just killing some time. Yeah? It's a little slow tonight. Things pick up and I get pulled away. You should chat with my boyfriend, Gus. Oh my god! Why haven't I seen Gus before? He's been running around all over Neo SF looking for new acts since he handles our talent. I think he missed being behind the counter. He does get a bit overwhelmed by the hustle and bustle, but he could run this bar with one hand tied behind his back if he wanted. <laughs> So you tend the bar without knowing all the drinks? Eh, that's what a ROM is for. I'm a people person, and that's what matters, right? I can just look up all that other stuff. God bless you, Majid. Ha! Huh. Well then, I'll leave you to it. Sure thing. Don't be a stranger. Hey, Gus. Sorry, I don't think we've met before. I'm Gus. Hi, nice to meet you. You have a really cool wrong. How Stardust treating you? I love it, dude. Well, that's good. But we can do better than not bad. Let me know how we can help. Aww. Majid may not have a memory for mixed drinks, but he loves listening to his patrons' problems. You'll have to let me or him know if you need any help. We try to run a tight ship. He's playing him. coffee talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Ask him if he knows about Hayden Weber. Yeah? Do you know anything about Hayden Weber? Hayden? Oh, you're who Majid mentioned before, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, no, sorry. I've met him since he's a regular, but I've been out and about on business. I haven't seen him in weeks. I wish I could help more. That's okay, Gus. So I hear you, uh, handle the entertainment for Stardust? Among other things, yes. I love live music, and I love trying to find young up-and-comers to play here. Sometimes they aren't the best, but the enthusiasm is what matters, I think. We've had a few bands and DJs actually get some national recognition after playing here. So oh, wow! To make a name among artists trying to break into the industry. Still, I have to do a lot of running around and auditioning to get acts that I think will do well. I've gotten very picky, but Majid lets me take my time. He knows it's for the best. Huh. That's cool. Would hello. you mind telling? Oh, hello. This is Gus. Did you get scared? Hi, Gus. <laughs> what? This is Gus. He's one of the new bartenders. He's Majid's boyfriend. Hmm. At Stardust. Uh, would you mind telling me about yourself? Oh, there isn't much to tell, really. I came to Neo SF from Arizona to finally live somewhere more thrilling. Majid needed someone good with numbers to handle back of the house sort of stuff. So here I am. I didn't grow up in big cities like this, and I always loved listening to Majid's stories from the Bay. Everything is just so exciting. Well, I'll let you know if I need anything else, Gus. Appreciate you. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this, but don't feel bad if you need to interrupt me for something. Thanks, Gus. Sure thing. Enjoy the bar. Random glass of whiskey. Can you... There we go. Who are you? Why does he look like, uh... Left in their glass suggests the person was drinking. He looks like Johnny Quest's dad if he had a, uh, mohawk cut. What? <laughs> he does! Huh! Hold up. Hello? Haven't I seen you at my tattoo parlor before? Oh? Hey, Tomcat. Hey, y'all! How goes the search? Oh my god. <laughs> You're right, though. You're so right. Oh, 
Not great. Hayden's apartment was ransacked and someone stole the data cache. Shit. Well, I can't say I saw that one coming. I figured that they'd nab anything they needed the first time they hit the place. Huh. Any ideas who it could have been? Everybody. The walls had been spray yeah. with many grotesque human revolution slogans. It is possible that Hayden was targeted by the organization for his work at Parallax. While my development may have been a secret, he is rather well known for his work on virtual intelligence data. A layman would not understand the critical differences between myself and a VI. Nor do I think the average human revolution member would care to make the distinction. <laughs> Equally likely, it is an effort to throw us off the trail of who's actually done this. I'm more inclined on the second one. Um, I mean, I don't... It's up to you, but I don't see any reason to not be forthright with her. Yeah, no, I I agree. Or them, excuse me. Yeah. Right. Dr. Fairlight was very kind to point us in the direction of the Human Revolution protest leader. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to the bottom of this after interviewing him. Yes. Yannick Fairlight. <gasps> uh, oh, God. When you run into him? Uh-oh. Oh, um, we were ambushed at the apartment and got hit with some kind of neural stunner. What? Are y'all okay? Hey. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're fine. fine. We're out of health Dr. insurance. <laughs> we had a discussion with him about Aiden's situation, then came here. Well, shit. Things sure are getting more serious than I first thought. Y'all need to keep a sharp eye out. Being attacked means the bastards know you're looking now. I'm confident in our ability to push on. Thanks, Turian. What do you know about Dr. Fairlight, Tomcat? Hmm. I can't say I know much about the man. Fairlight always was a bit of a shut-in. Even back when he ran System 1, his old company. He didn't make any more public appearances after the merger between them and Parallax, but he was still working with them for six or so years past that. Nowadays, he shows up in the news once in a blue moon for some charity thing or another. But, ugh, well, it's, it's all just rumor, but I've heard he holds a grudge about it hotter than the Clantons after the Earps. Oh... I'd take care to look at this particular horse in the mouth real close if I was you. Hmm. I highly doubt his revenge would involve kidnapping our friend. But... You never know. Yeah, it's possible. enough we'll be careful of him good now to lighten the mood while y'all were chasing your tails i managed to find a way into the parallax network oh my god i swear tomcat's theme is like a light motif info, of maya face including anything attorney. related to it sounds pretty levels. similar <laughs> if parallax is anything on hayden's situation it'll be in there Fantastic, Tomcat. I knew Hayden's faith in you was not misplaced. How long do you think it will take you? Well, that's where the rubber meets the road. Parallax actually has considerably better net security than the last time we cracked in. I'm gonna need physical access. Oh, God. I've got a good idea where a node for us to slice into is, but... It ain't exactly in a nice part of town. In fact, police have basically wrote it off as a lost cause. Wait a <laughs> minute, so Tomcat's the reason that the, uh, what's his name lost his job? Because she hacked the network. She hacked into Parallax. Ooh. 
I think that was the inciting thing that got him to lose his job. No, 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 no. Um, because they said that it was do over. Uh, oh a yeah, because they they network. lost their work. Yeah, and somebody got into the network, and I think that was Tomcat. Maybe. Because this isn't the first time. This isn't the first time. I know Jess has some contacts in that area. A little oopsie daisy there. Chewed you a new rear when y'all first came here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tough sale, but she might be able to help y'all get in and out of that part of the city without ending up in a part span at an organ shop shop. Oh. That was my favorite part of the city. <sighs> Why does Jess have contacts in that part of town? Okay. Why does Je you might not Jess have contacts in that part of the town? Considering her viper's tongue and penchant for hitting the clubs harder than she's got any right to, but what? Jess is actually an attorney. Hmm. No shit. <laughs> she specializes in defending people in violation of the Human Protection Act and does almost all of her work pro bono. Wow. That's earned her a whole gaggle of pals amongst the hybrid community around here, as you might imagine. Ain't no one gonna cross her in that part of town. Black market hybridization ain't exactly HPA compliant, if you catch my drift. And none of them ever know when they might need her to defend him in court. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Profit? It's really gone to shit since the police privatized. Hey, we ain't got it that bad. I mean, at least our police force owns its own self. I hear down in San Jose, the richer neighborhoods have actually started hiring the gangs to protect their places. <laughs> when even the rich folks can't get good police work, it's a sad state for everyone else. And the less said about LA, the better. Guess we're going and groveling. Yeah, so uh, fun. I guess I'll go grovel until she agrees to help. That's a spirit. What? <laughs> I need a little time to get all my tools together to slice into Parallax's network, but y'all keep me updated. Maybe y'all get lucky and find my data cache too. But I, I ain't gonna count on it. Okay. Jess is still hanging around here at Stardust, but I saw her head over to the VIP room. It's hybrid night and she's a popular gal. <laughs> Just please remember to play nice or her friends will bump you something fierce. Okay, okay. I'll send Jess a message letting her know that y'all are looking for some assistance and we'll see what happens. We'll be in touch, Tomcat. Sure thing, huh? I've got to head on out of here and get started on setting up a run. Just have turn, let me know when y'all are ready. Okay. So does Benton Quest oh, have anything I to say? I Jess Aww. over there behind some ropes. Let's go over and say hi to her. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, hell no. Uh oh. What? <laughs> Look, I'm really trying to have a good time today, and the Human Revolution crud muffins have made that very hard for me. And your interrogation this morning took a bad day to worse. Sorry. I asked around about you, Juno, and I don't have anything to say to you. The last thing I need is you prodding at me without telling me your press. Besides, the VIP section is only for hybrids and friends on hybrid night, and no way am I vouching for you. Oh yeah, this is going over swell. Hey, Bouncer! We got a capital A asshole over here. What? I did it. You heard her. Let's go. No! Probably from how we interacted with her. Give us a chance to explain ourselves. We have to get back in there and try to. I don't even think we had a bad interaction with her. I think like, yeah, we didn't even get to interact with her. She was instantly hostile. Sure. No, we asked her about um. Tomcat. 
And we had a few choices in there. I don't I don't think we did anything directly negative. I don't think so. We just asked if she knew Tomcat. But that bounce. Or actually no, we asked if she was Tomcat. Perhaps we should try befriending someone nearby and convince them to vouch for us. Are we gonna have to play video games to become friends with the, <laughs> the person it's behind them? It's a statistical them? long shot, but the worst case scenario shouldn't leave an excessive amount of physical damage. Oh, no! Stop! Durian. <laughs> Durian. You know... Nothing like a little violence to have our night working. Oh god... Nope. Hey! Sammy, uh... Hey, arcade punk. You want some milk? Okay, arcade punk. Ah. Hey, there's a there's a mesh-wide legend going around about Mega... Phobiter? That's the game to that's... the left. Ah, that's right. That says if you reach the final screen, you'll, you'll carry what you've... You'll carry with you what you've seen... Yeah. You'll carry what you've seen with you. What? I don't know what that means. ROM's acting weird. Computers powered on by themselves. Calls from no one. Spooky. Yeah. Well. All right. So that's not good. Well, maybe we can get see if you can play it. Can you play it? VIP bouncer, blue skin and a lot of bulk. A hybrid. Okay. What if we can talk? Wait. Yep. Oh. Okay. It's it's just Donny. It's oh my god. That's just Johnny Quest dad. I know we talked to this guy already, but Give still. Me a few minutes, okay. 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 Sorry. Uh, hey neighbor, what's going on? Are these your kids. What? Hmm. Sorry, cutie. Not quite ready to play the play the room yet. Gonna try to get another drink into me first. Maybe I'll get something a bit spicy. Okay, so we gotta give him a spicy. Come hit me up later. What about the lady? Okay. Silver. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, hi. Sorry, I don't really feel like talking. It's been a long day. Maybe after I have after I have a few drinks in me, maybe I'll get something really fruity. Okay, so we have spicy or fruity, and that's those are our options. Okay. Okay, Majid. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? Get a drink. <laughs> Yo, my G, can you hook me up? <laughs> no. Yo, dog, I know I met you once, but you want to let me into VIP, please? What are you having? Okay. So we could do a spicy gentleman, because that's okay. spicy. Is this time for another <laughs> subtle bitch? Wiener juice. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Beer. I forgot about the names. Really I mean, I guess technically a sour apple teeny should do do for fruity. Would that be fruity? It's an apple. That's true. Should we do fruity or spicy? I mean, do you you want to talk you know to the I'll lady that that wasn't putting oh off my. us or What's the dude that? that was putting us off? Dictionary, the open alcohol. Yes. What? Silver, silver is gone. <laughs> silver, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> it was too fruity for silver. Are you? No, silver, are you muted? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, voice mod decided that it was time that it had to update right now. Are you? Wait, are you? I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think I'm just holding up the bar rather than running it. No, I just memorized all the drinks. You're better with the customers. 
this one is... Yeah, that's two. That's three flu fruits. That's pretty fruity. Yep. Okay. She never said that it had to not, like, she didn't say it had to be sweet. It's sour. A distinct sour taste. You may have seen Charlie from A Star in the Stratosphere drinking this on his show. Mm, thanks, Sunny Bear. If they pointed out since it's distinctly sour, it's probably not going to do it. Let's try again. No. Let's try again. Like what? Uh, so we sure for that. Nope, uh, none of those, I don't think. Power play drinking game. Nope. Gotcha, rock and roll. Interaction harvest. Anime. Nope, nope. Subtle That's bitch. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Let's see what he says about it. Let's see what Gus says about it. So it's fruity. Drinks these days. <laughs> I hope this drinks is the fruity one. <laughs> oh, I got this, sweetie. This one is... Cream vodka, strawberry liquor, none, and soda water. That's... Uh, minty, strawberry... A, su a sweet, sweet and smooth, smooth. drink you don't realize will mess you up. It really sneaks up on you. Sweet and smooth... Doesn't sound like fruity. Thanks, honey bear. I feel like you're looking for something like a sex on the beach or something. Like what? But I don't think that's in this game, so we're gonna have to find the equivalent of it. The apple teeny still may be right. Mm. Mm. Try a blue fairy. Remind me, what's in that? Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Oh, I got this, sweetie. Well, it's blue. This one is. What? what in God's name? Okay. What? <laughs> Definitely looks what? like fruit to I me. What? Are they... Okay, because I am not. I. I I do not I know what need... those are. Hold on, Sam's using her science brain. I e Mr. Google. Okay, aldehyde is like acid. That's, yeah, I was gonna say, that's like a chemical, isn't it? <laughs> like, what? This is like uh, gasoline. One of these soft and sweet treats will make your teeth turn blue. Hope you brush them well. No, thanks. <laughs> we're gonna give you a, thanks, we're gonna give you a chemical reaction that's, here. That's terrible. Ball. Could you imagine just like giving that to your date? Here you go. I got you a drink. Brad drinks it. My teeth are blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did what? you do to me? <laughs> Sunshine cloud. Uh, sickly sky. Winter teeny. But that may more be like. Teenies are generally dry, though. Tastes like orange. Orange? So many drinks these days. If not, I'm going back to the apple teeny because that literally had so many fruit in it. It did, but. Alright. Tell me, Gus. Champagne, orange flavored vodka. Eh. I mean, that's definitely a fruit. That's definitely a fruit. That, I mean. <laughs> it tastes like orange. <laughs> I'd say that's that qualifies. That probably that qualifies. qualifies. Thanks, honey bear. Okay. Bueno. Order up, please. Go. Also, we didn't run across anything that said spicy anyway, so. No, I haven't, I haven't seen anything that would even remotely think okay. it's a uh, Ooh. spicy. Okay, do we have that in our... Yes, we, we do. Do, do not give her the spoiled milk. <laughs> you know, that might be pretty... That might no. Be pretty <laughs> what if we pour just a little bit into No. <laughs> Good. Yes. Oh, God, no. No, Sammy, no. I'm sorry. I couldn't believe the gun popped up. That's terrible. Sam, 
woke up and chose violence. <laughs> How did you know what I was planning on ordering? Oh! Well, Nailed it. at least keep me company while I drink it. Okay. You gave her the drink. I'm Caitlin. Hi. Hi, Caitlin. And now she has a voice. Hi, Caitlin. I'm Sammy. It seemed like you were alone for a while. I'm usually a lot more sociable. Things have just been rough today. I get it. Uh, no. <laughs> Let's try that one. Let's start yeah, the with, second let's start one is belittling her problem. <laughs> Man, my day is bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad for me. Yeah, too. yeah. everything's sad. Care to tell me about it? My brother's going through gene therapy. He still has to go in at least twice a week for health and maintenance. Oh. There are human revolution protesters outside the clinic, making oh. it even harder for him. They're always outside, harassing anyone coming in. It's exhausting. Probably not the middle one. I'm sorry to hear it's like that. No one else lives around here, so I'm kind of all he's got. But it's not a big deal. He'll be done with the main set of treatments in a few weeks, and we'll be free of them. I just feel bad for everyone else they're messing with. Well, you know what? He's lucky to have you as a support system. Aw, thanks a lot. I'm lucky to have him. So, there's plenty of people here. What made you want to talk with me? No one should be bummed at Stardust. And I had this drink and I... Oh jeez, this really is my favorite drink. I have to wake up early for class, but I'm at the club, so I guess I'm already too deep in. <laughs> uh, oopsies, now you've made her fail her class. Oh no! <laughs> What's she studying? Um... Why don't you ask her what she's studying? What are you studying? Graphic design with a focus on advertising. Ooh! I need to do some local stuff. Trying not to brag, but... The zone three out on the bar is totally my doing. Oh, there you go. I have some really good client relationships locally, and there's so many interesting people too, like you. Oh. Wow. Hey, it's been really nice talking to you, but I kind of feel like dancing now. You, you want to come with me to the VIP area in the back? Hey, sure. We're in. I have some friends who might be over there. We can hang out with them. They'll like you. Oh, okay. Boy. This could go Maybe. one of two ways that I can see happening right now. <laughs> we're gonna go in and we're gonna get thrown out again. Right, let's go. We're gonna go in and uh, she is going to say be friends with Jess, and then Our Jess is gonna say, "Hey, he's that uh, Sammy is being kind to you just to get back in here," and it's gonna go real bad. Uh, Caitlin, she said we could join her. Uh, all right. But it's on her if you can't stay out of trouble. I'm sorry I exist. Uh, Probably hey. don't instantly start by talking to Jess. You have an incoming call, priority marked as oh. urgent. Oh, from who? Well, hope you come by again. Ring, if you. Excellent. Oh Sorry my god. For making up the call. I'm still getting used to the whole subterfuge thing you humans do. Oh god. Don't Turing, teach the synthetic about lying. <laughs> However, we Boy, are we raising him well. With Jess. We have a no. Dragon to no, 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 we should talk to Caitlin again. We should yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. talk with Caitlin again. Hey, girl. This is exactly what I needed to get my mind off things. Okay. Up. Oh. A skinny hybrid with green skin and pointy ears. What if we What if we chat up some other people? We chat to everybody but just. <laughs> yeah, we get. We do it last. I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few 
Cassie Spike Benders in my time. Okay. I feel like he just admitted to saying that he really likes Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> look, it'll catch up to you. <gasps> I look really hyped. Can you save? You know, I think that's a marvelous idea. drink i guess hey jess what's going on quick show her and... your zapper you know as soon as i first saw you i hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net and i'd never have to see you ever again okay 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 so of course i just got off the phone with tomcat practically begging me to help you out you aren't so good at the long-term play thing are you Yeah, we're definitely not choosing that last option. <laughs> Maybe you should appreciate it. You know, I, I think we got off to a bad start here. You mean you don't stick both feet in your mouth every time you talk to a hybrid? Surprising. Uh, I'm so sorry I said hello. Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm only willing to talk to you because I owe Tomcat. I don't owe you shit. Okay, okay. So if you want my help, you gotta do something for me. Okay. okay. If you got a problem with that, tough. My neighborhood, my health, my rules. No problem at all. What I don't need is you kissing my fuzzy ass. Oh, man. Only what? people uh, I like get to do that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not trying it anyway. <laughs> I need you to break up those human revolution protests. The ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. I'd like this handled with some stealth. Not that I expect you to know what discreet means. Either way, just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles, and this media circus is making their lives difficult. That means it's making my life difficult. Let the bastards go march somewhere else. Like Washington. Not here. Definitely not the second one. You know, I know it's not my business, but are you okay? You sound upset. I'm just Neither of these exactly sound. I'm peachy. My clients get harassed and beaten on the daily. I don't have the time or money to help them all. And I have jackasses like you bothering me on my one day off. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, you're gonna braid my fur and we can talk about all our problems and boys we like? What? I'm sorry. I just want to help. You want to help? Don't treat hybrids like animals for living out their lives. I we haven't. Shit! All of yeah. this isn't even a choice for some of us. You want to know what my deal is? You really want me to get sappy? Okay. Skin cancer. Hmm. Oh. Stage three. My prognosis was so advanced that the doc said my bones were already lost. So I had to do something drastic. Completely restart my biology from scratch. You ever seen someone with a severe gene splice? From something freaky, like an insect? That's where hypertech began, you know. Where my therapy started. You can't imagine what it's like to have children cry from just looking at you. When people just see you and sprint the other direction. I had police following me everywhere I went. I lost my apartment. I lost my dignity. Eventually, I was lucky enough to qualify for the cute kitty cat cure to override the expression of the chitin. 
It changed my life. I have my job and purpose because of it. The fur doesn't scare the rest of the world too much to let me exist. Better an otaku's fluffy wet dream than the monster from a horror VR drama from Japan. My mom still can't look at me straight. Not to get even mushier, but as a kid, <clears throat> she would sing me a song as she counted all the freckles on my face. She hasn't let that go. You know how your folks look at you when they figure out you finally had sex or did crash? It's like that. All the time. I'm assuming crash is a drug. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry that happened to you. Oh, now you're sorry. You haven't even heard the worst part yet. The amount of gene therapy I underwent exceeded the limit that the Human Protection Act allows for procreation. So yeah, the government freaking spayed me. Oh, fuck. If it fuck. all wasn't hilariously dark enough. Oh, God. First, I'm too ugly to look at. Now I'm too screwed up to breathe. Saving my own life forfeited my right to be a person. The Human Protection Act. Ha! Apparently protecting humans doesn't include me. Only genotypicals could live in this city and truly think they're the ones who need some protection the most. In any case, I had some clean eggs frozen and we'll whip them out whenever I'm ready. Except keeping that shit on ice costs. And my insurance decided to just not pay up due to the elective nature of my feline gene therapy. So I took those bastards to court and won. And I've been doing this oh, wow. for everybody else ever since. So there you go. I got cancer, super science fixed me up and left me a freak, and then the government sterilized me so I wouldn't go out and make more little monsters. And everyone else gets to be the winner by default. Happy now? How's your savior complex doing? This is getting you off? What? <laughs> what? Definitely not the last one. Um, I'm so. Based on how she's responding to the others, I would actually go with the middle one. You're not dead, and you're still fighting. Yeah, I am. Now show me that you're on the right side. I'll be watching. That is the recovered. most positive response she's given to us today. Yes. Uh, thank you for the follow. All right, it sounds like we know what we need to do next. Let's go to Market Street and break up those protests for Jess. Tur Turin? I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about you, bud. All right. Let's save. Game. There we go. There we go. Cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, how are we feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. How about if we have time? How about we take a break here? I can stop the VOD, and then we can we can come back in five ten minutes. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, good. that's perfect. Because I definitely need some water. Uh, yeah, that's I, I, that's why I had to pause. I realized I had not drank anything um, for about six hours. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, if you are watching this live, stick around and we will be back shortly. If you are watching the VOD, please feel free to watch something else out of the channel. And um, be safe and be kind to one another. Bye-bye!